Not having a quad view in Nomad can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. Most other 3D programs have a view where you can see the perspective, the top, the side, the back. So there is a workaround that we'll have a look at here in Nomad. It basically involves setting cameras and then locking the view that you're in. So let's dive right in and take a look at that. So in Nomad, unlike a lot of other 3D programs, you can't go to a quad view and get a side, front, back, and then top, etc. view all together. You have to just have the one view. And that's the same in programs like ZBrush. Um, but other, other programs do give you that ability to go to, to multiple different windows from different, what they call orthogonal views or orthographic views. Um, and it would be really useful if we had that, but we have got a workaround now and, and, and it has been there for quite some versions and it's just where we turn off perspective and we hit snap. Now that is completely um, no perspective, but you could see there what I did was as I, as I moved around, it moved it off that plane. So watch again, I'll go snap and that's fine. So I can pinch in and out and left and move left and right. So that all works. But every now and again, I just let go or something goes wrong or your taps by mistake and it comes off that and it's a real pain while you're, while you're working. So obviously what we tend to do is we'll go to the side and then snap and then we can work on the side. Why you might want to do that and why you wouldn't want that in perspective, for example, is because you might want to trim this back off. So to do that, I'll just show you how we do it. Make sure you're on that model and you just go to trim and you go rectangle and then you'd come off the back like this. And then that trims that back away. And that works really, really well. But what happens a lot is that you, you can find that while you're working, you, you get off that view. Now, there's a couple of things that we do to, to prevent that. So one, you can set camera views. So if I snap it again, I'll just undo that cut that I did. Let's start with the front, which is a common one. And for now, I'll just turn the grid off. So the grid's up here, turn it off. Um, and you've also got it down here at the bottom, on and off. So we want to go snap to the front, perspective is off, and then we can go, let me just shut that panel down, and then we can go up to the camera and we can say add a view. And what that does is, I'll, I'll pin that open with that pin, so that means that this view now is, is, is locked. Now we've got basically one camera view and it's available to us from here. So let's go to the side. And that works quite well, but obviously now we would snap it and then we'll add another view. So we go add view. So we've got, and you can name them. So this top one, we'll go rename and we'll call it front. And then we'll go the second one and we'll rename it and we'll call it side. And then let's do one from the top, snap it. And then, oh, you can see straight away there, one slight knock on it and it comes off and we'll fix that in a moment. So snap and then make another view. So add view. And notice here you've got orthographic and perspective and it remembers that in these views. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. So let's just rename this one. So this one is top. And now what we want is, is a perspective view. So let's say we work like this with perspective on and that's one of our hero views or a view that we like or even maybe this view or even both you, you know that's that that would be quite perfectly acceptable so we'll take that three quarter view and add it and we'll take another three quarter view the other way and add that and we'll just rename those we'll just call it um, 3q and that's from the left you can name this whatever you want it doesn't it doesn't really make a difference and then this one we'll call it 3Q from the right. So now what's happened is um, that it's remembered that perspective is on. So look here, you can see perspective. And as I go to the other view, perspective is on. But if I go to top, notice it switches that off and it's fully orthographic. Next one to the side, still orthographic. Back to the perspective and it's, um, uh, it's back to the perspective. So that's all working really well. But there's a couple of things to make this work better that you can do. So this is pinned open, don't forget. So that means that th this, this won't disappear um, and it'll, it'll stay open so you can switch between it you know, rapidly, so that helps. 
One little tip is to come up here and in yeah, come along to your um, the second panel in and you want to go to right to the bottom of it and you want to make sure your overall scale of your panels is down. Make sure your panel width is all the way down, your font scale is all the way down and vertical spacing. Um, you can have a play with that a little bit, but I go all the way up like that. And that means you've got a very, very small interface and that means you've got all of your panel on this side here and this one here. So that now works a lot better. So that's working really well. And there's one last big tip that I'm going to give you, and I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say I, I didn't spot this in one of the recent updates. Um, so I've got um, uh, Chris Palomino and Dan Torres to thank for, for uh, I think Chris um, learned from Dan, and Dan obviously spotted it where I didn't, so thank you to those two people. Um, so... As we've come into these different views, say for example we want to work on the one where we did the cut, so that would be the side, and we could easily, as I've said, we could easily move it around by mistake, so again hit the side, it's definitely on the side, it's definitely orthographic, and now you just hold down that button there and it locks it. Now you can zoom in and out, you can go left and right um, with, the double, with double fingers, but what you can't do is you can't rotate it. So we'll just turn off this panel for a moment so you can see what I'm doing. And then you know you're locked on this side and you'll come down to the trim tool and you want to go to rectangle and then just trim that back off like so. Might have gone too far there, I don't know. Let's just see, maybe do a bit more. And then back to view and you can see there, it, I can't move. Now that, that's something to notice. So I instantly tried to do it. So at that point, you just tap it and unlock it. And now you can see the back that you've trimmed off. And that's how, if you get used to using both the camera views to switch between, the orthographic on and off, so you've got perspective on and off in your in your views. And then also when you're happy and you want to work in a specific view, the ability to hold down and lock it is quite powerful. So there are just a few tips that um, might help you with that, that you know, not having the, the, the quad view that you get in other 3D programs. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and if you are, please give us a thumbs up as it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content. We've just released a new course all about how to sculpt a dragon, so look down in the description below and you can see details of that course if you're interested in learning more of this kind of stuff with Nomad Sculpt. And have a great week, everyone.